Welcome back, y'all, to another episode. I'm sorry I'm not in the camera view, but hi, I'm Jay. Nice to meet you all. For today, as you guys can see, we have an all-in-one bag. Now, you all know that all-in-one bags are not my favorite cup of tea. To me, I think they're just a waste of money because you have so... 35 bucks for the bag. 45 bucks for the syringe. So you're up, what, roughly about 90 bucks? So, that's kind of why I don't really care for the all-in-one bags. But you guys have been pleading with me to do an all-in-one bag. So, try not to hit the filter. Right. Now, you should probably do this in a stab a steel air box but unfortunately all my boxes are full and I don't have anything to do it in at the moment so we're just gonna do it kind of like how you guys would yep yep so because a lot of y'all probably don't have a stab so I'm going to show you how to do this without a still air box. Everything up here has been cleaned. Okay. There. I'll spray it up top too. All right. Light is good. Wipe this back down. One last time. Ain't gonna hurt anything. To have it cleaner than what you want it. Mainly right there. That is what I'm going after. Right there. Okay. Now, don't forget to do your gloves. Important part. Okay. So this is another important part. Now... Like I said, you should be using a still air box. I am not for today. I feel a little risky. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Now this is one of the strains I been currently one of my new strains but I really like it because it just grows so fast so one thing I really do like about this strain it just grows ungodfully fast like after you take it out of the incubation chamber within two days I have pins and uh, that's good and bad now this syringe has been out for a couple days so it can get up to temperature we got seven mils left so we're probably going to eject two mils we are going to eject two mils of this into it try not to touch the little pink end Like I said, you should be using a stab for this, but mine's full. So we have to use other means. Right, turn my little light on. Do my gloves again. It ain't going to hurt anything. Hey, I don't have to kneel down this time at least. Okay. Make sure your torch works. Right. Remember, from the bottom up. I just give it a few seconds. So 
what you're gonna do, you're gonna make sure that turd's clean. Give it a second. Okay. So you do that. I go about that far. And like I said, two mils. Bam. Two mils are done. It's a self sealing hole. And that is it. You can put tape over the little hole, which I'm gonna do. A little piece of tape, not very much. You don't need much. And I just put it over the hole. Put it back down like that. Stick this in your incubation chamber and you're done. That is it. That's all you have to do for an all-in-one bag. I will give you guys an update. This is the all-in-one bag I'm using. Um, I've never tried this kind of all-in-one bag. I'm not a big fan of all-in-one bags. You guys already know this. So, we'll see how this works out. This has been requested quite a few times by me. Uh, sorry. This has been requested for me to do quite a few times. So, I hope you guys enjoy. And all your stuff goes back in. And that's it, y'all. Um, you could wipe them back down. Probably could. Wipe them back down. Yeah. And try not to hit the filter. And whammo. That's it. Stick it in the incubation chamber and wait 14 days. What do you got anything to say? How about hit that like and subscribe button, huh? You're gonna tell the, the fine subscribers to hit that. Well, you're gonna tell the fine people. Okay, never mind. Anyways, y'all, have a good one. Till the next one.